Disney Plus here at KSW 32 Road to Wembley. Now joined by Ollie Thompson. Ollie, you just defeated Michael Vladarek via disqualification. Uh, grounded, uh, you were grounded. He needs you to the head. Obviously, DQ, you couldn't continue. What, can you just kind of walk us through what was happening at the end? You got a couple stitches over your eyebrow. Yeah, um, you know, fast forward through the fight. We're having a real war, like I thought it would be. Um, you know, I felt like I was getting the edge of him, but he's, he scored a couple of times takedowns. Didn't get much joy, I was scrambling up. He wasn't getting any joy on the ground. And that third one, I was just getting up. He kind of threw an instinctive knee, and landed right above my eye. Yeah. First shot gave me a little, a little graze. And he got warned, as I stood up, he threw another one. Um, I don't see any, any intention. I think it's just instinctive, especially when you're maybe behind in the scorecards, you're just reactive. And uh, the referee's shout, first shout doesn't always register. And he threw another one, it opened my up and put blood all over my eye. You know, um, I was getting up and I was winning the fight. So it's a shame to win for a different with DQ. But, um, you know, I'm happy with the fight. I'm happy with uh, where I was at that point. And I couldn't see out of the eye. So as much as I, I knew my ability to fight for the last two minutes was, was very restrictive. I mean, can you just clarify, was it the referee waving off or could you just not continue? Well, the referee asked me if I could see. I think it was something like that. And his eye was just, just covered over in red. And I said, no, not really. And it wasn't like he could give me my five minutes and it, what I'd rather see. Yeah. Without stitches, it was just going to keep coming. And, um, you know, it was a tough fight. And I need to, I need to have all my, um, all my wits about me. And something like that could have, he could have taken, taken a big 10-8 ten ten round and maybe stolen it at the end. I mean, you started very well grinding him against uh, the fence. He kind of came back a bit in round two. Round three, that was a bit iffy. Uh, you were looking good and then, he, you know, he landed that knee. You know, do you feel you were in control by that time? You know, it's hard to say I was in control because it's a tough fight, a tough yeah. guy. Um, I won the first round, I don't, I don't doubt. The second round, he was maybe grinding, maybe towards the 10-9. But then when, when, I, when I got him down and landed some elbows, I felt like that, 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 that more than nullified what he'd done with damage. Because I wasn't damaged at any point up to the, to the eye, although he did score some nice takedowns. You know, as more of a result of my success on, on the feet, I started to land bombs and he was not really um, engaging as much as I, th I thought he would. So, um, you know, I went out and got the win. And on, on paper, it will say disqualification, but I feel like I went and got the win that I deserved. I mean, in the first round, he was landing some really good short elbows in the clinch. Is that what kind of started up, you know, um, you know a bit of the pressure to you? No, um, I mean, he was landing some good elbows, but they, they, it was, they were so up, up close. And with big, big guys, long arms, he's a bigger guy than me, longer arms. He didn't quite get the angle, for, angle to get the point of the elbow. So it's more of a forearm. So you get a bit of a bump, but it doesn't do the same damage. I'm glad because they, they were powerful little elbows, you know? I don't know if you can confirm this or not, but um, when you were making your way to the ring, uh, the cage, in fact, the announcer kind of said you're making KSW your new home. You know, is there any update on your contract? Are you signed a mortified deal with them? Um, I don't like to talk, talk too much legal details. Um, I, I'm, I, I am, it's, it's public knowledge I'm on, I'm on the final fight of a four fight deal. You know, I, I'm really proud and privileged that I'm one of the foreign guys that signed a four fight deal and has done them. I think that says a lot about you know, my relationship with these guys and the performances I give. I've given, I've given one bad performance out of four, I feel. Um, I'm disappointed in that, but my last one, I had to make a statement. And you know, um, I get a lot of offers, a lot of popularity offers yeah. from promoters. Um, I don't say I get the pick of the bunch, but I get a good, a good um, decision on what I do. Yeah. But coming to, coming to KSW and to Poland, or today Wembley Arena, yeah. um, it's something I love. And uh, I'm very interested to speak to um, the bosses and see how they see this going. Because um, I'd love a title shot, yeah. or at some point in the future, I'm more than happy to give uh, Michael um, another fight because uh, he's certainly someone I've got big respect for. I mean, you've fought all around the world, uh, you know, especially all around the UK. I've got to ask you now, how does this KSW Poland London crowd kind of fall into the best crowd you've ever fought in front of? And it was very, you know, you were the away fighter in this one. I know you're in your home country, but. Well, it's packed out there. It's packed out, out there. Um, it's probably 90% Poles. It's pretty much the same as being in Poland. I love it in Poland. I love traveling. I love not, I love not having to sell tickets. Yeah. <laughs> so that's in Poland. But I've had a great time today. But um, you know, the next time I fight in KSW, if I, if I do, um, it'll be in Poland and, I, and, I'm, and I'll enjoy it just as much. Just lastly, uh, you know, great crowd. It's packed here at Wembley. Do you think that KSW are going to start to make this London show a regular thing? You know, whether it's London or just a European show, um, there's more than enough um, Polish people, first of all, around, around Europe. Yeah and more than enough um, credibility in their fighters for them to travel around and make a, make a big deal of it. As long as they take the time and to do the promotion they've done to this show here, I'm sure it'll be a big success and I'd love to play a part in that. Ali, thank you very much.